access to seven early development prototype builds was sold within the earliest access campaign, contained with the Subnautica Special Edition. There is no known way to access these prototypes, and as a result, these builds are considered lost media. Well, what do you know? Hello, my friends. Let's take a little stroll down history lane. Subnautica fully released on January 23rd, 2018, after spending several years in early access since late 2014. Since that time, the game has received many changes, updates, and patches that have built towards the experience you can have today while playing it. I, as a game developer myself, have, however, always been more fascinated by the road it took to get there. The various steps, turns, and changes that shaped the amazing game we all love and adore. On the channel, we've done a solid job going back in time through various early access builds, peeling back the layers, and exploring the niche and little-known elements that once existed in this game, such as the backrooms or firelands. But there is only so far you can get. On Steam, the earliest access build is, as the name suggests, the earliest version of the game you can get your hands on, and honestly, I thought that was it. But then one day, when scrolling through the wiki, I stumbled upon something, the so-called prototype builds. Developed before the earliest access, before PAX East even, there was a set of seven prototype builds released to people who purchased Subnautica Special Edition through Humble Bundle. Originally, the plan was to make these free DLC at some point, but that never happened, so the only way anyone could get their hands on these is if they were one of the few original buyers and they somehow hadn't deleted the files from their PC since the Humble Bundle ones are no longer available. Now, right off the bat, I was hooked and started looking. You can find some videos of these on YouTube, but getting your hands on them is a whole different beast. The wiki wasn't kidding when it called them Lost Media. I messaged the YouTubers who did the videos originally, but none of them had the files anymore. I even reached out to the devs, who weren't sure if they still had the files, and then I was basically left on red. When all hope was lost, an amazing member of my Discord by the name of Foxy Foxagirl, massive shoutout by the way, reached out since they were on the hunt for the prototypes as well. And, well, let's just say they found them. So today, we're going to jump in, play through this piece of seemingly lost Subnautica history, and see where this game really came from. And welcome, my friends, to... Uh, now, wait a minute. This doesn't say Subnautica, does it? Well, we're here in Prototype 1, and as it turns out, the game originally had a very different name. Descent, as you can see. Now, this menu also looks very different from what you probably expect. I mean, the fact that it's, like, off-center is really, really messing with me. But let's just jump into a new game and see what we can find. And what on Earth? Um, welcome to a submarine, I think. We can remove this room. Wait, why would I want to do that? Or build a room. Let's try building one. What about a diving room? Okay, I need scrap to build that. Okay, can I get some? How do I exit? Use the dive hatch. Oh, here we go. Okay, I have a minute of oxygen left, but boy, do I swim slow. How am I gonna get this in one minute? Now, oh, this is gonna be pretty tight, actually. Oh, this is gonna be really tight. Oh, I'm stressed. What on earth? Okay, so we have some scrap metal. Can I now build a new room? Diving room. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, and now we have a propeller here, the ballast, and then we have another propeller here. So let's say I want to go this way on both engines. Does it rotate the thing? Oh, it does. Whoa. Hey, look at that. Okay, what happens if I tilt it all the way? Oh, we're sinking down. Look at this world. It looks so weird, doesn't it? So when I pick these up, will this give me oxygen? 
this looks so uncanny. I mean, I don't have an inventory. I don't have anything, of course. It's just this world. I don't even know what to do with the oxygen tank I just picked up. Well, there seems to be another biome here, but there's no way I can possibly reach it. I'm guessing this is the start to a kelp forest? Oh, that is strange. Okay, I want to see what happens if I run out of oxygen. Okay, we're running out of time. Any second now, we're gonna basically drown. Oh no! And we just jump out. Wow, okay. That was... that was really something. So, as we move through these prototypes, as far as I understand, the numbers kind of correspond to the order in which these were developed, so with each of them we're gonna see slightly more progress in the game. As you can see in Prototype 2, we're still dealing with Descent, not Subnautica, and pretty much the same looking menu, but I'm guessing once we jump into the game, it will be different. Whoa! Yeah, no kidding, it's different. Okay, so we now have a very different looking base. The world around looks about the same, honestly, even though that looks like a new biome, maybe. Okay, we have throttle from two engines, and we can build walls or destroy stuff. Okay, what if I destroy this? Okay, get some scrap metal in return. There is a dive hatch. How many walls can I destroy? Oh, this is kind of cool. So the way you would build walls was kind of like this, where you would basically be able to build your own rooms, presumably like box yourself in. I don't know why I did that. And you were kind of left free to create the compartments of the sub however you wanted. Okay, that's cool. Man, this is still really freaky. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff floating around. Let's see if I can get to the surface. We can maybe at least take a look at our submarine. Okay, look at this thing. Wow, that's cool. It, it looks so strange, doesn't it? And then there is this. What incarnation even is this? Don't know, it's all kind of suspended in the air. I like that you can kind of see some of the Unity debug stuff. Okay, let's get back into the sub and I actually want to explore the map a little bit. Let's go full throttle. Wow, look at these biomes. What's that supposed to be? You guys thought the Farlands were cursed? Look at this. This is making me very uncomfortable. There's some, like, blueprint or something you can pick up down there. Oh, going into the void. Oh, this is so cursed. Oh yeah, no, that is actually the edge of the map. The terrain doesn't render, nothing happens. But very interesting, so I suppose in this one, we basically learned how they originally envisioned, or maybe how they thought might be a good idea, to have you build a submarine. I mean, much more player de dependent. I kind of like it, it's almost a shame something like this wasn't kept in the final version, even though I understand how it could be causing confusion to players and maybe, you know, not being optimal. You know, somehow the fact that this is completely uncharted territory makes this way worse. Let's check the next prototype. Aha, uh -huh. would you look at that? The name has officially changed. So somewhere between the first two prototypes and this one, it actually became Subnautica. Now I'm curious if we're gonna see any other changes as well. Oh, a new loading screen, very nice. Whoa. Gone are the options to build stuff. We're still in the same submarine. We now have two different indicators for ship depth and very different controls. And whoa, the map looks different as well. Oh, I see, so this is how you would do depth. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Tab toggles map. Oh, look at that, we have a map. So you can just pull one to turn, or you can pull both to either reverse or go forward. Okay, again, very interesting movement. Let me stop for a sec. Ooh, the oxygen cheat now works. Okay, so I'm able to actually use console commands. <laughs> look at this. We have scrap metal. There's a big ominous yellow ball in the sky. What's this? Ox- what on earth? Some sort of oxide. Nah, we, we have to go deeper. This is the only way to go. Well, we definitely swim faster. So, I'm guessing this would eventually become the grassy plateaus, which is very strange to think about. So, this prototype kind of reworked the submarine controls, seemingly added a bunch of stuff including the map, but I don't have it on person yet, I still can't open a PDA, I don't have any sort of inventory I could open. I guess another thing that this kind of shows is how ship-centric the game was supposed to be. Like, it seems that you were really supposed to go to places with your ship and only ever leave it for short bits. Also, did we just 
enter Sector Zero? Because this looks like ice. There are no creatures to really speak of. At least none that I can see. If I see something, I will actually poop my pants. Oh, what on earth? Look at this. And is, it, is this the edge of the map? Okay, I guess so. Wait, how deep can we go? This is like some strange liminal nightmare. It looks so strange. I mean, I know you're not supposed to be here, but still. Oh, oh, look at this. We found the bottom. Oh, and this is actually a thing. Holy moly. There was an actual bottom to the void. But look at this. We can see whatever this is. Are these chests? Grab a treasure. What? What? I, okay. Look at this. We dove to the bottom of the void and we found treasure. See, I always thought the real treasure was the friendship we built along the way. Man, swimming through these empty areas fills me with such a strange feeling. Both nostalgic and creepy at the same time. Now, there used to be theories back then that who knows what kind of creature these devs might be hiding out there in the void. I mean, they were planning to do it originally. It's like somebody's twisted nightmare of the game. Oh, did we find the actual end of the map now? I think we did. Yep, here it is, guys. This one makes me really uncomfortable. Huh. Well, let's move on. The menu still looks very similar. Still has that slight bit of animation going on. Oh, okay. I think I see what this one is about. Oh, and look at that. The oxygen has now changed to be in minutes. You know, these fish, <laughs> they look like tiny bloops. I can pull this up. Cannot craft while diving. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's see what's beyond the edge. Oh, do you guys see that? What is happening here? Whoa. Look at these things. It's like narwhals. Hi there, little carrot fish. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. Oh, and there's a dead one. Look at that. They're emitting some sort of um, effect. Okay, I'm gonna increase the speed if I can and see if there are any other creatures. Now that we have creatures around, I'm not as confident going down there. And look at this. So this is sort of the arctic biome. It's so easy to get lost around here. Okay, so this is literally meant to be a different biome, just deep in the void. This is so freaky. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Look at this. This map is so weird. Now, let's see how the crafting works now. Can I build any sort of tool? Okay, knife. Okay, so I can make neoprene. Whoa. Look at this, I have a knife. I have no way to really use it, I don't think. Can I slice? Oh, maybe on these things. Oh, look at that, I can harvest kelp now. See, this is already really taking shape. Obviously, these prototypes are built as very short, small demos just to see if things work. Oh, and now I can build the small storage. Let's see. Oh, and I can move stuff over. This is pretty neat, actually. Impressive. Wow. Well, the menu has now somehow progressed even more to the right. Not sure how that happened, but uh, let's see what Prototype 5 has in store. Oh, look at this. Okay, let's just do normal. Whoa, Ooh, this is cool. My oxygen is in bars. This is kind of odd. We have ship computer, find computer, get dive suit. Is that freaking Spider-Man? What on earth? Get metal. We have like objectives now. First sub costs 25. Um, 25 of what exactly? Okay, so let's get some metal. Whoa, <laughs> this goes deep. Get out of the water and press E to craft a tank. I also love this little floating bit. Kind of reminds me of the lily pad islands. You know how some of the rocks are suspended. Okay, let's go. We have a tank. So it looks like this one and maybe even the previous one, as far as the prototypes go, were kind of set to explore the crafting system, which, you know, makes sense. I guess it's one of the most important bits of a survival game. What is this? What? Hey, hello? Why did this thing just bug onto my screen? I would love to craft one of the submarines, but it costs 25 something. Oh, maybe everything combined? Oh, absolutely. Okay, let's build it first sub. And I want to try both. Look at this, guys. It's our first sub. Whoa, and we get a freaking revolving chair. This is very cool. 
I mean, I guess we have to go explore what kind of biomes there are. But before we do, I actually also want to try what the other submarine looks like. So this would have been the precursor to the Cyclops. And I'm guessing whatever we're going to build now would be the precursor to the Sea Moth. Look at this. That is so cool. Why did we never keep this? The Batty Sphere. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. It's like a tiny little UFO. Oh, I love it. Okay, we're going to explore the map in this. I can't really see much over the edge. That is proving to be tricky. Oh, look at this. Some strange jellyfish. I mean, this is kind of beautiful. I'm just kind of curious what we can find. I wish the render distance was a tiny bit further. Yeah, this is definitely a new biome. We haven't seen this before. It's it's a bit like um like what the bottom of the mushroom forest looks like. Some more jellyfish. So we got one new creature in this one. They also have different color. This is really trippy. Also kinda terrifying. Just these random super deep caves. What a strange biome. You know, I wonder sometimes with these prototypes, if any of them were actually used to test... Whoa, okay. Terrain generation? Because I know some of these were supposed to have been built with that purpose. There's certainly a lot to see here, though. Obviously very simple in its nature still, but the crafting system works pretty good. This is fascinating. There's definitely more to be found here, but uh, I think we should probably move on. And we're still at this same menu, hasn't really changed that much. Okay, let's see. Oh, now we're getting legit. Okay. Subnautica in a very tiny font. Whoa, first of all, those things are seriously chonky. Second of all, I'm on a boat with Spider-Man. Okay, I got the dive suit, I got the computer. Use Fabricator, so you can't access it here anymore. I guess I don't pilot this in any way. Okay, so this time you start on a boat. I also want to note that these files have been getting like exponentially larger. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is actually new, I believe, this effect on the ocean floor. What I was trying to say is that these have been getting a lot larger, even though it looks like these might not be changing as much from prototype to prototype. No crash fish yet, no crash fish, man. These were good days. We still have a map. These things seem to be fighting. I like this. I, I kind of wish the final version had more of these just massive cliffs. I mean, you can still find some, but like, look how deep this goes. Very interesting terrain. This looks like the floating islands. Whoa, that is so trippy. Look at this. I wonder what this was supposed to be. Whether this is just some tool to test terrain generation. This is so, so strange. Almost looks like a skeleton of something humongous. This has to be some strange terrain generation test right here. And there's no way you would just build all of these manually for no reason. This is a strange one. What on Earth? Or what on planet 4546B? It's really like you're looking at something that you're not meant to be looking at, you know? Yet it is so freaking cool to explore. Okay, so in this one, essentially, they put you on a boat instead of a submarine. And the map has changed quite a bit, now being covered in these massive spires. Oh, tell me that doesn't look like a face there for a sec. Okay, well, I think we've seen about everything this one has to offer. It's huh, very strange. And now, finally, on to Prototype 8. Now, you might be wondering, hold on a second, if this was Prototype 6, what happened to Prototype 7? Well, the thing is, Prototype 7 is a complete mystery. So much so, that it looks like it never even released for the original Humble Bundle backers. One player asked about it on the Subnautica forums back in 2014, and one of the devs, Abraxas, responded saying that the build had been lost to the sea. So presumably, it's some file that even the developers themselves don't have access to anymore, and it's actually proper lost media. I honestly don't know if there is any way you could get your hands on it, but unfortunately, I couldn't find it. With that, let's just jump into the last one we have. Okay, let's see. Lava test. Okay, let's try lava test. What on earth? Holy crap. If it looks choppy for you guys, that's not just for you. It is 
incredibly choppy for me as well. I think my computer might be melting. Okay, so I'm in some vehicle, probably like a prawn suit, and I'm on a world that is entirely made of lava. Oh, and I just found the edge. This is really not doing good for my computer, my god. It's just a tiny little island of lava. Okay, let's let's try again. Okay, so let's not do the lava test. Let's just do normal. <laughs> what? There's a bunch of guys standing around. What? What? Oh my god, this is so cursed. I am a pair of floating arms. Whoa, look at this. We have arms now. Oh, these are, you know what? These are from Natural Selection. Another game made by the same developers. Why is there so many just standing around? It's so creepy. The map has definitely received some changes. We have now some actually high quality rocks. This looks nicer at least. Yeah, there's a lot more different plants. All of these things now have grass on them. <laughs> what? Oh, this is a volcano. I mean, we all know the crater was supposed to take place on the massive volcano, but look at this. This is so creepy. And the map also used to be so freaking deep back then. I mean, I just left spawn and I'm 500, 600 meters deep. If I told you guys this is Subnautica, would you believe me? What am I doing? This is so bizarre. This is making me very uneasy. I don't know why, it's just this massive wall of glowy material. What game am I even playing right now? Oh, and look at that. Found a bottom at just around 4,000 meters. Man, I, I wish we could just know why. But anyways, guys, I think that's a good place to end this. Let me know if you would like me to look a bit more into the fascinating world of this mega early Subnautica. The user Foxy on Discord has managed to dig up all kinds of weird things, which I think you guys might find really interesting. So please let me know if you would be interested and hey, I can make another part looking into all of this crazy stuff. But with that, I wanna say I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting or subscribing. All of those would be very much appreciated. With that, I'm gonna wish you a beautiful rest of the day and I'll see you in whatever next video I make. Bye bye.